What is the most abundant source of energy on Earth, freely available for urban buildings? Solar. Gravity. Because solar energy only shines half the day on half of the Earth. Gravity works all the time. It never stops. Even when the sun is not existing anymore, you will still have gravity in the universe. So if people say, We're, this is the sun age, no, 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 this is the gravity age. We finally should realize that we can stand with our two feet on the earth because of gravity. We should realize that this incredible moon that is just a couple million miles away from us, that is keeping us in this incredible movement, and that incredible movement is so predictable, so predictable, we can generate all the energy we want simply by using the compression strength of these buildings. Look at this, this pillar, like this one there, that's the compression strength. I mean, that's where all the weight. If we were putting some crystals underneath, then you can put crystals like just granite. You put a sheet of granite under there. And by the movement of the earth, there's always a slight movement in those buildings. You're generating 70 millivolts in every crystal. 70 millivolts. Now, remember Corky Reynolds? He's converting 60 millivolts into one volt. Today, at nanoscale. Now, if Dr. Reynolds, at 74, can generate, never studied any of this, but when he can generate from 60 millivolts, one volt, and power a pacemaker with it, I said, Jorge, could you explain to the CTO, Chief Technology Officer, and all the people in the room, how do you convert it? So he pulled up his presentation, 3D, you know, and so he shows exactly where the crystals are and how a nanoscale, the size, really the size of grain, uh, rice grain, and you have these nanoscale crystals around it, how he today is generating one volt. Can you imagine? And that pressure is only from our heart, only from the movement of our heart. Now, if you can do that with a grain in your heart, can you imagine what you can do underneath a building? This is how many stories? Three stories? Four stories? Can you imagine the 101 building? That building could, generate, could be supplying energy to everyone around, solely by compression strength. Every pillar of compression in a 10-story building is probably around 6,000 watts. The potential that we have for using gravity is so big, and it's so amazing, we don't look at it. We don't look at it. Why? Because we're in the solar age, we're the hippies of the 60s. So we're the hippies of the 60s, so we adore the sun. Why don't we wake up with the sun, please, and realize there is so much energy that is untapped. And that is part of the story called going against the current. We actually prepare the children to think about energy sources that the parents have no clue about. And this is so important that we can do that.